Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about multiplying binomials involving radicals. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we do have three examples class for you to really understand how to multiply this one. So let's start with number one. So we have quantity 5 plus 2 square root of 2 multiplied by 3 minus 2 square root of 2. So, in multiplying binomials class involving radicals, you need to use the FOIL method. Do you still remember class, the FOIL method? So, F for first, and we have O for outer, I for inner, then L for last. So, let's start multiplying. So, first, 5 times positive 3. So, positive 5 times positive 3. That's positive 15. So, 5 times 3, that is 15. So, we're done with first. Next, outer. So, O for outer. So, positive 5 times negative 2 square root of 2. Once again, positive 5 times negative 2 square root of 2. Negative 2 square root of 2. Once again, class, do not multiply 5 and the radical inside. It should be 5 and the number outside. Once again, it should be 5 and the number outside. So, 5 times negative 2. That's negative 10. Then simply copy square root of 2. Alright, so I hope you got that one. 5 times negative 2. That's negative 10. Simply copy square root of 2. So this will be negative 10 square root of 2. Alright. So we're done with outer. Next is inner. So I for inner. So we have positive 2 square root of 2 times 3. So positive 2 square root of 2 times 3 so once again do not multiply 3 and the square root inside it should be 3 times the number outside the square root so 3 times 2 that is 6 then simply copy square root of 2 so 3 times 2 that is 6 simply copy square root of 2 now sir what if there is no number here outside radical symbol so if there's no number here understood that there's one here class so once again if there's no number here understood that there's one since we have 2, so it should be 3 times 2. So 3 times 2, that is 6, then copy square root of 2. So this will be positive 6 square root of 2. So I hope you're still with me, class. 6 square root of 2. Alright, we're done with outer. So next, we have last. So we have 2 square root of 2 times negative 2 square root of 2. Let's multiply that. Alright, so we have positive 2 square root of 2 multiplied by negative 2 square root of 2. So once again, you multiply the numbers outside. So 2 times negative 2, that's negative 4. Once again, positive times negative is negative. 2 times 2, that is 4. And then square root of 2 times square root of 2, that would be square root of 4. So can we simplify class, this one? Can we simplify square root of 4? Yup, we have the square root of 4. What would be the square root of 4 class? That's correct. The square root of 4, that is 2. So this will be equal to, copy negative 4. Once again, the square root of 4, that is 2. You put it outside the radical symbol. The square root of 4, that is 2. So you multiply it by 4. Since we already have negative 4 outside, so it should be negative 4 times 2. Once again, this 2 came from the square root of 4. And this will be negative 4 times 2, that's negative 8. Alright, and this will be negative 8. Alright, so next thing class is we need to arrange. So combining like terms. So can we combine this one? Negative, negative 10 square root of 2 plus 6 square root of 2. Can we combine that one? Yep, we can combine that one. Do you still remember class? In addition and subtraction of radicals, we can only combine or add radicals or subtract radicals if they have the same radicands, okay? They have the same number inside the radical symbol and they have the same indices, okay? Understood that the index here for square root is 2 and they have the same radicands. Therefore, we can combine this one. Alright, so we can combine this one. But let me arrange that one first class. So arrange, let's have 15, so positive 15, we have negative 8, 
Alright, so once again class, I just arranged this one for you not to be confused. So we have positive 15, negative 8, negative 10, square root of 2, then positive 6, square root of 2. Alright, so this will be 15 minus 8, so this will be 7. And this one, so once again, combining this one, so negative 10 combined with positive 6. Once again, if you're combining radicals class, addition and subtraction of radicals, so you add the numbers outside, you combine the numbers outside, so this will be negative 10 plus 6, so negative 10 plus 6, then simply copy square root of 2. Alright, so simply copy the radicals class, so negative 10 plus 6, then copy square root of 2. What's the answer class? Negative 10 plus 6. Once again, if they don't have the same signs, we have negative 10, we have positive 6. If the signs are not the same, you subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. So this will be 10 minus 6, this is 4. Now since 10 is greater than 6, we have negative 4. Then simply copy square root of 2. So this will be 7 minus 4 square root of 2. So 7 minus 4 square root of 2. Once again, class, negative 10 plus 6, that is negative 4. We subtract because they don't have the same sign, and we copy the sign of 10 because 10 is greater than 6. So we have negative 4. Then simply copy square root of 2. Alright, so can we combine the whole number together with the radicals? This one, can we combine? Nope, we cannot combine. That's it, class. That would be our answer for number 1. 7 minus 4 square root of 2. That's it. That's, that's the answer for number one. Easy, right? For number one. So, let me put the answer here on the top. So, we have 7 minus 4 square root of 2. So, 7 minus 4 square root of 2. Alright. So, that's the answer for number one. Let's try number two. Once again, class, if you have some questions with regards to this one, Feel free to leave a comment. You can always message me, class, in our Facebook channel. Same name with our YouTube channel. Alright, let's try number 2. So, what if we have this one? Quantity, the square root of 2, plus the square root of 7, squared. So, it means that you multiply this equation by itself twice. So, we have squared. It means that you multiply this one by itself twice. So, this will be... Square root of 2 plus square root of 7 times a square root of 2 plus square root of 7. Alright, and then we will be using the FOIL method. Alright, so let's start with first square root of 2 times square root of 2. That would be square root of 4, right? Square root of 2 times square root of 2. That would be square root of 4. Can we simplify square root of 4? Yep, we can simplify square root of 4. That would be 2. Alright, so square root of 2 times square root of 2, that's square root of 4, and the square root of 4, that is 2. So therefore, this will be 2. First answer is 2. Next, outer, is square root of 2 times square root of 7. What would be the answer? Because so square root of 2 times square root of 7, that's correct. Square root of 2 times square root of 7, that would be square root of 14. So... Plus a square root of 14. That would be positive square root of 14. We're done with outer. Once again, inner. Square root of 7 times square root of 2. Square root of 7 times square root of 2. So square root of 7 times square root of 2. That would be square root of 14. Same answer. Square root of 14 plus square root of 14. Positive square root of 14. Alright, we're done with inner. Then last... So we have square root of 7 times square root of 7. So square root of 7 times square root of 7. So square root of 7 times square root of 7 plus. So what's, what's the answer? That's correct. Square root of 7 times square root of 7. That would be square root of 49. Do we have square root of 49? Yep. The square root of 49, that is 7. Because 7 times 7 is 49. So the square root of 49, that is 7. So, this will be positive 7. Alright, and then we arrange for us not to be confused. So, we write the whole number first. So, positive 2, then positive 7, 
Then, copies, positive square root of 14. Then, positive square root of 14. Alright, and this will be, so what would be our answer class? So, 2 plus 7, that is 9. Then, square root of 14 plus square root of 14. So, square root of 14 plus square root of 14. Once again, in addition of radicals, if they have the same radicands and they have the same indices, we can add the radicals. So, first, you add the numbers outside. So, understood that there's one here. Do not forget, class, that understood that there's one outside the radical symbol. If you didn't see any number outside the radical symbol, understood that there's one. So, we can add the radicals, class, because they have the same indices. That is 2. So, understood that in every square root, the index there is 2. And then, they have the same radicands. That would be 14. So, this will be 1 plus 1. So, 1 plus 1. Then, simply copy square root of 14. Copy the radicands class. So, 1 plus 1, that is 2. Then, simply copy square root of 14. That's it class. 2 square root of 14. So, square root of 14 plus square root of 14. That would be positive 2 square root of 14. That's it class. That's the answer for number 2. Easy, right? For number 2. Alright. So, this will be 9 plus 2 square root of 14. That's the answer class for number 2. I hope you're still with me class for number 2. Alright, so let's try number 3. So we have quantity square root of 3 plus square root of 5 multiplied by square root of 2 minus square root of 16. So first, okay, let's have first square root of 3 times square root of 2. So square root of 3 times square root of 2. Okay, that would be square root of 6. So square root of 3 times square root of 2, that would be square root of 6. Can we can we simplify square root of 6? Nope, we cannot simplify square root of 6. So this will be square root of square root of 3 times square root of 2. This will be square root of 6. Next, outer. Okay, we're done with first outer. So we have square root of 3 times square root of negative 6. So, square root of 3 times negative square root of 6. So, once again, understood that there's 1 here. So, 1, positive 1, times negative 1. There's 1 here, class. Do not forget. Positive 1 times negative 1. This will be negative 1. Or we can just erase 1 here. Okay? Because understood that in every square root, there is 1. Then, square root of 3 times square root of 6. That would be square root of 18. Or this will be, so we can erase 1 here, class. That's okay. Understood that there's 1 there. Positive, okay, positive times negative is negative. Positive times negative is negative is square root of 3 times square root of 6. That would be square root of 18. Can we simplify, class, is square root of 18? Yep, we can simplify square root of 18. By what means, sir? You think of two numbers, class, that one number is a perfect square, the other is not, that when you multiply, you will get 18. Okay? Once again, you think of a number that when you multiply the two numbers, one number is a perfect square, the other is not, and when you multiply, you will get 18. Of course, we can simplify this one by, so copy negative sign, is square root of 9 times 2, right? Because 9 times 2, that is 18, 9 is a perfect square, then 2 is not. Alright, so this will be, so copy equal sign, then copy negative sign, what would be the square root of 9 plus? That's correct, the square root of 9, that is 3. Once again, the square root of 9, that is 3, you put it outside the radical symbol. Since, since we already have the negative sign, so this will be negative 3. Alright, so once again, negative sign, copy, then 3 came from the square root of 9. So the square root of 9, that is 3. Then simply copy square root of 2. Alright, so that's it class for the outer square root of 3 times negative square root of 6. That would be negative 3 square root of 2. So negative 3 square root of 2. Alright, and then inner square root of 5 times square root of 2. Square root of 5 times square root of 2. So that would be square root of 10. Can we simplify square root of 10? Nope, we cannot simplify square root of 10. So simply copy. So, positive square root of 10. So, 
positive square root of 10. Then, we're done with inner. Then, last. Last one. Alright. Square root of 5 times negative square root of 6. So, square root of 5 times negative square root of 6. Once again, you multiply this numbers outside. So, we have 1. Positive 1 times negative 1. Okay. Positive 1 times negative 1. That should be negative 1. Now, we can erase 1 there. That's okay to erase 1. Understood that there's 1. So, once again, positive, okay, the sign outside class, positive times negative, that's negative, square root of 5 times square root of 6, that would be square root of 30. Alright, I hope you got that one class, because if we have 1 here, and we have 1 here, understood that there's 1 there, so 1 times negative 1, okay, positive 1 times negative 1, that should be negative 1. Then, square root of 5 times square root of 6, that would be square root of 30. So, we can just erase one class. Understood that there's one here. So, we can erase one and then one here. So, our answer will be negative 30. Can we simplify square root of 30? Nope. We cannot simplify square root of 30. Alright. So, that would be negative square root of 30. So you, so, you check class. If we can combine the radicals, can we combine the radicals class? Can we combine this one? Nope, we cannot combine this one class because this is they don't have the same radicands class. This is 6, this is 2, this is 10, this is 30. Alright, and that's it class. If you cannot combine the radicals, that would be your final answer class. So this will be our final answer since we cannot combine the radicals because they don't have the same radicands. They have the same index, that is 2. For every square root, that is 2, but they don't have the same radicand. So, this will be our final answer. Alright, so that's our final answer for number T, since we cannot combine that one. That's it, class. That's how you simplify or you add binomials involving radicals. So, I hope this video helps. Now, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends. And to your classmates so that we can help more students. Our next topic class will be multiplying radicals by its conjugate. Once again, this is teacher MJ. Have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.